gamers. Dig up to your dad. Are you banana? Tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Tasty banana. Are you banana? Tasty banana. Please don't feel it comes and gonna put banana in my mouth. Squeeze banana. All right, that's uh, Uncharted 2. Wow. The ending is it? Oh, by the way, this is Uncharted normal. I beat it on normal. The ending is, is how I remember it. Although, I thought it was going to be longer than that. And it wasn't. It was actually pretty quick. Um, honestly, that ending stinks. Right? It really does. Like, there's this big build-up to you're going to find something cool in, in Shambhala. You find the race, the ancient race of people. They call them the Guardians or whatever, right? And then you find uh, the sap. By the way, I'm closing that because I don't want to get contact ID. <clears throat> um... And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, here's your final boss. It's a guy, the same guy you've been fighting the whole game, and he just runs in circles, and you just shoot sap. Like, what? That's the end of the game? That's the last boss? That was really deflating, and I remember it actually took me a lot longer in my first run to beat him, because it was so frustrating. Um, anyway, so now after having played Uncharted 2, you know, some 13 years later, all right, Here's my overall thoughts. It's still a good game. And it has a great place in gaming history at the time. It's one of the best looking games on PlayStation 3. Um, and at the time, the kind of giant action-packed set pieces that they had in the game, like jumping from car to car in the middle of driving, and, you know, all that was unique. That was, like, first-time stuff 13 years ago. You know, 13 years later. We look back on it now, and it's like, ah, you know, a lot of that, the... The cover-based shooting mechanics leave a lot to be desired. You wish that maybe there was a, more abilities to do different things. Like, when they're tossing those perfect grenades, why can't you throw them back, right? Or, <clears throat> why can't you do better um, dodge ability? Your dodge is kind of kind of floaty and crappy in this game. Um, and the fact that they just come gauntlet after gauntlet after gauntlet, and sometimes they actually spawn around and behind you. You've cleared the room, and all of a sudden they're behind you. It's like, come on, man. You know, that's old school stuff. That used to happen all the time in PS2 days, and then it kind of carried over to PS3. You know, take a look at Uncharted 4, and the game's whole, to, almost totally different, right? It really is. Um, it, it evolved in the many years since the first one to Uncharted 4. So, basically, the way I see it, it's still a good game. It just didn't necessarily age as well as a lot of other games that we play and we go back to. I still had a good time playing it, and I, it was fun seeing it with the new remastered version that they did for PS4, but at the same time, it definitely didn't feel like it held up as well. You know, I've played some other games recently in the last few years, like Mass Effect 1, um, that I felt did stand the test of time, but it's funny, then I played Mass Effect 2 and 3, they didn't feel as good as the original times that I played them, you see? So it is what it is. Things change over time, different games come out, and, uh, you know, some, some feel better than others, that's for sure. I still had a great time with this, and I want to say thank you to the people who suggested it, Thank you to those who attended the streams, who supported them. Thanks to those who watched On Demand on YouTube. It was a fun ride, even though it wasn't necessarily the most, you know, uh, it didn't age as well as I wished it had. I wish that it actually felt as exciting as it was when I played it as a new release. I remember playing this game as a new release and being very excited every night that I played it. Keep in mind, back then it wasn't my job. It was a hobby I was doing after work. Um, and this time it wasn't so much. It was like, nah, it's probably going to be more third-person shooting, isn't it? And then the, the, I didn't even realize, did you see how few temple parts there were? What was it, three? Each temple part was great, the puzzles and everything, but there's so few of them. So yeah, this was, uh, geez, when you think about it, not even 11 hours long, my, my playthrough. And I didn't even do good, I died a bunch, you know? So this game was actually quite short for the time. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you, again.